serious matters. And with me, I have um, two ladies from the Kenya Girl Guides Association. I will let them introduce themselves, and then we'll talk about empowering young girls, um, the projects they have ongoing, and yes, mskume what to young towards um, this kind of projects that empower them and keep them busy. Yeah, so welcome. Thank Ivy, you. introduce yourself. Asante. So my name is Ivy Okisa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm um, a young leader at Kenya Girl Guide Association. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Did you introduce yourself? And uh, my name is Fidelia Wool, mm -hmm. and I'm also a young leader from Kenya Girl Guide Association. Yes. So um, before we even get to the initiatives, mm -hmm. tell us a bit about Kenya Girl Guide Association. I know most of us know it, but mm -hmm. maybe for those who don't know about Kenya Girl Guide Association. Uh, so Kenya Girl Guide Association is a girls only movement. Mm -hmm. It's the largest in Kenya mm -hmm. and the world body is also the largest girls group in the world. Yeah. That is WAGS. Mm -hmm. And uh, we deal with empowering girls to exploit and uh, realize their potential mm -hmm. and just create ways in which girls can make the world a better place. Mm -hmm. So anything to do with development uh, of young women mm -hmm. from as early age as three years old, yeah. all the way to infinity. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Kenya Girl Guides Association is not only a movement for me in my mind, what mm -hmm. I'm telling myself. Yeah. Because I remember Girl Guides. Yes. They're the ones who are in, I think when you get to high school, mm -hmm. it changes to Scout, right? It, no, it, it doesn't. It doesn't change. It's, no. it's the same. Yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. we have different stages mm -hmm. or age groups. Mm -hmm. We start uh, with the rainbows, mm -hmm. who are the youngest, mm -hmm. below age six. Mm -hmm. And then we come to brownies, mm -hmm. who are in lower primary school. Mm -hmm. And then girl guides, mm -hmm. who are in upper primary school. Mm -hmm. And then rangers, mm -hmm. who are in high school. Okay. And then after high school, you mm -hmm. get young leaders who oh. wear that. And it mm -hmm. keeps going mm -hmm. to bravo guides, mm -hmm. to triple guild, it does mm -hmm. not have an end. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, Fidelia. Um, how long have you been in this movement and maybe how has it impacted you as a person and as a young woman? Uh, so in the uh, in uh, Girl Guide, I've been, now this is my third year mm -hmm. in uh, Girl Guiding. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I was not, I was uh, a scout mm -hmm. in uh, primary mm -hmm. high school mm -hmm. and then when I got to my college, mm -hmm. I got of the Girl Guide. Yes. Uh, so mm -hmm. the girl guides were existing. So mm -hmm. we are like, girl guides and scoutings are different. Mm -hmm. So I had to shift mm -hmm. to girl guide, but okay. scouts are mm -hmm. our brothers. Mm -hmm. So okay. mm -hmm. we have different program with them, but we're just closer mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. them. Yes. So how it has impact my life mm -hmm. is like, girl guides, in, uh, in uh, girl guides we have these, uh, we are being, uh, taught mm -hmm. how to speak mm -hmm. we are uh, we can face like mm -hmm. me i use i couldn't stand <laughs> you were shy. in front of Pretty people yes. uh -huh. i talk and right now mm -hmm. through the programs we have mm -hmm. um in uh, in college but we are being sent to go and teach other mm -hmm. uh, young, girl. Young, yes. young girls mm -hmm. so I just have that courage of facing mm -hmm. people yes, and standing and, uh, in front of standing people, in front of people and speaking uh -huh. to kids. Mm -hmm. Just, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, okay. it has uh, impacted a lot in me. Yes. Yeah. So would, um, she talked about programs. Mm -hmm. Maybe share with us what kind of programs you have. Uh, so we have uh, quite a number of them mm -hmm. uh, that are geared towards training girls on different things. Mm -hmm. For instance, we have one called Free Being Me mm -hmm. or ABC that is action on body confidence mm -hmm. that ah, teaches girls so that to is, yes that is one of the programs yeah. that she went under under yes that teaches girls to just accept who they are mm -hmm. and uh, be free in themselves and accepting a, a standard of beauty that is not shown mm -hmm. necessarily but yes. that that everyone is unique mm -hmm. and they we are all beautiful in our own rights mm -hmm. we also have some that train on leadership mm -hmm. Uh, we want girls to start being leaders of themselves, mm -hmm. of their community, mm -hmm. before we even start wanting to be leaders of the world yes. and all that. Mm -hmm. We also have one called Yes, mm -hmm. which is Youth Exchange South, South to South, mm -hmm. that takes girls from Kenya to mm -hmm. other countries mm -hmm. to learn on other things and uh, practices. Mm -hmm. And then they also come back to Kenya mm -hmm. and also either share common practices okay. that can mm -hmm. improve the movement. Mm -hmm. Other than that, uh, 
anything to do with the environment, mm -hmm. menstrual hygiene management, okay. mm -hmm. and so much more. Yes. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. You as Ivy. Mm -hmm. How has the, you know, being a girl guide mm. impacted your life as a young woman, as a leader? Mm. Yes. Uh, I would say it's given me purpose. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, unlike her, I've mm -hmm. been a girl guide for almost 19 years. Oh, wow. So, so you started from? I started way when I was young, uh -huh. I think around six years. Mm -hmm. So I've gone through all those stages mm -hmm. and I've seen how that has helped me develop as a person mm -hmm. holistically. Mm -hmm. I don't depend on maybe peer pressure mm -hmm. or uh, what is popping mm -hmm. or what people are doing out there. Mm -hmm. But it has given me a sense of direction and mm -hmm. purpose and okay. just wanting to do that for other girls mm -hmm. is what has kept me in the mm -hmm. movement yeah. all right mm -hmm. so Fidelia what are you doing currently in terms of you know impacting and um, teaching these programs to younger women and where are you doing that is it the universities the secondary schools or the oh the for the last program we had mm -hmm. was uh, about uh, stop the violence mm -hmm. and we are we were going to schools uh, mm -hmm. the primary schools mm -hmm. the young ones mm -hmm. and now um, uh, I was facilitating a, a school in uh, South B mm -hmm. and just that topic stop the violence mm -hmm. <laughs> I've just got to learn a lot from girls mm -hmm. uh, the young girls face a lot mm -hmm. at home mm -hmm. and uh, like uh, when we were going through that uh, that program, teaching them, mm -hmm. they were get, uh, being open to talk to me. Uh, some things that even their teachers didn't know, mm -hmm. and I felt nice that um, <laughs> I yes, have that yeah. privilege yes. to mm -hmm. uh, help a, mm -hmm. a child. Mm -hmm. Until uh, there's a um, when they went for a break, mm -hmm. there's a a girl who came to me and told me that my dad has told me to stop going for the girl guiding things because. Mm -hmm. You went and shared what we were sharing. Okay. Like you should not be, uh, you should not allow any, even with your dad, your mm -hmm. uncle, mm -hmm. uh, your house help touch mm -hmm. any part mm -hmm. of your body. You know they are young, yes. and uh, when uh, we teach them that, they go back and mm -hmm. like they tell their parents, mm -hmm. and some of them come back and they're like, we don't want to go. Mm -hmm. My parent told me I should not go back to mm -hmm. Kenya girl guide, oh, Kenya girl guiding. Bad. So you know. Mm -hmm. uh, we always just talk to them and their teachers mm -hmm. connect to their parents mm -hmm. in that like they mm -hmm. should just bring them closer so okay. that we can teach them mm -hmm. but we found uh, <laughs> we found uh, that uh, i found out that uh, they really face a lot mm -hmm. in secret mm -hmm. yes, and they, they need to be to, to, to be get, spoken to yeah. and you know someone to share with and yeah. yeah so that so they, it can be yeah. heavy because these things you carry them all the way to yeah. your adulthood mm -hmm. i can see that you have several i don't know what you call them <laughs> badges, badges. <laughs> yes you have several she has one why <laughs> Uh, I think it depends with how <laughs> I walk. She calls me a tourist uh -huh. because I'm not even based here. I'm uh -huh. based in Mombasa, okay. but you'll find me going all over the places. Mm -hmm. So we, in girl guiding or mm -hmm. scouting as well, mm -hmm. we normally earn badges with mm -hmm. what we do mm -hmm. or share badges with friends. Mm -hmm. So for instance, if I've experienced something with you mm -hmm. and you want to exchange, it's a way of uh, extending friendship okay. and yeah, also acknowledging uh -huh. the things that you've done because uh -huh. we're not being paid yes. it's not a job uh -huh. it's yeah uh -huh. like the way uh, someone will run and get a, a medal mm -hmm. ah, yeah so as we have uh -huh. get, we get badges yes okay. that's mm -hmm. interesting <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah so um these young ones that you are speaking to maybe for example if you find a case like um what fidelia is saying mm. you have found young children who are facing a lot mm. how does that impact you as well as and do you work with other organizations maybe to help these children that we are going through such things yeah we we do for mm -hmm. instance when she was saying uh, stop the violence mm -hmm. uh, with such uh, programs mm -hmm. we have to partner with offices of gender mm -hmm. and all that so that if you get such a case in a school mm -hmm. you can raise it mm -hmm. we don't just teach them to speak about it mm -hmm. we also uh, empower them mm -hmm. to seek help mm -hmm. and we link them with organizations mm -hmm. that can come in child mm -hmm. protective services yeah. and also child, show them stay they can use. Mm -hmm. For instance, in most schools nowadays, government schools, mm -hmm. there's always someone assigned mm -hmm. to 
such particular needs that mm -hmm. can even mm -hmm. help in the cases where parents are trying to interfere. Yes. Yeah. So it's not just telling them and then mm -hmm. letting them hang. Yeah. Yeah. We, the reason why our movement doesn't have an age limit mm -hmm. or an expiration date mm -hmm. is if we've uh, uh, recruited you to the movement, mm -hmm. it's more beneficial if we keep you mm -hmm. so that when it impacts you, you can mm -hmm. also go impact back and other impact person. other people. Yes, um, mm -hmm. I know there's someone asking themselves, mm -hmm. like me, if you have never, you know, you are mm. not a scout, you are yeah. not, uh, no, no, okay, sorry, I'm not a scout. A girl scout guide. is the, a you know, the, yeah, the boys, the, yes. Mm. So if you're not a girl guide mm. from high school, primary school, campus, can you still join the movement? You can. Mm -hmm. At whatever age or mm -hmm. stage, you're welcome to join. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for Kenya Girl Guide, just reach out via our webpage. Uh, that is www.kgga.co.ke or any of our social medias and someone will definitely get back to you or if your school mm -hmm. does not have a unit you can call us mm -hmm. the the reason why we have young leaders is most of us are a link between the schools mm -hmm. and the organization yes yes what are some of the activities you have you know mm. other than you know um counseling speaking to young ladies mm. what some what are some other activities that you have as a kenya girl guide mm. association we any activities you know one thing about kenya girl guide or or the movement itself mm -hmm. is it's for very informal mm -hmm. from camps to mm -hmm. whatever you want to organize as a group we can decide to just go for a walk mm -hmm. either if it's a walk to create awareness or just a walk for mm -hmm. leisure mm -hmm. picnics sports events cultural events mm -hmm. uh, international exchanges mm -hmm. and the programs don't end mm -hmm. they they have no infinity yeah and you can always create which, whichever mm -hmm. you want there's yes. that freedom okay yeah Fidelia um, what are some of the challenges you've experienced as a young leader <laughs> <laughs> you know you've talked about um, having that privilege to speak to young children you know mentor them and help them be better people oh. the, maybe you can give us the downside of Oh, doing what you do, keeping <laughs> in mind that she said that you're not being paid. Yeah, yeah. so like uh, uh, with the kids, mm -hmm. you go to their schools, mm -hmm. you want to uh, request for a chance to speak to them. Mm -hmm. Maybe their, their head teachers are very strict, mm -hmm. they don't give you that time. Mm -hmm. You call back to the office to mm -hmm. tell that the office are like you, fix. Uh, just talk to them mm -hmm. <laughs> and you have to go through because you have to nini, go through with mm -hmm. them with the program mm -hmm. and then sometimes also after taking through uh, nini, the kids through with the with the program mm -hmm. they like they see you has help mm -hmm. they want help from you mm -hmm. so like they will be coming to you teacher mm -hmm. I don't have this mm -hmm. I can't okay. be provided for and you know mm -hmm. we are doing a volunteering job mm -hmm. so we cannot like sometimes you cannot provide mm -hmm. parts for everyone. Mm -hmm. Okay, parts are always being provided in schools mm -hmm. and some some teachers don't give out. Mm -hmm. So the kids are always coming to us. Teacher, I don't have a pant, I don't have this, I don't mm -hmm. have this. And you know you're volunteering. Mm -hmm. You can't and so they you can't see even you. provide for yeah. everyone. Maybe and one they or see two. you. Yes. <laughs> and when you stand there teaching them, uh -huh. they see you as if you can help them. Yes. Mm -hmm. So those are the challenges mm -hmm. we face. Okay, that's <laughs> yeah. unfortunate. Yeah. yeah. So w would you encourage young parents mm -hmm. maybe to push their daughters to become part of this association from an early age? Because you see there's an advantage from starting at an early age. There is. Mm -hmm. And my dream would be for every girl in mm -hmm. Kenya to be part of such a movement. Mm -hmm because it offers a safe space to grow mm -hmm. and explore who you are mm -hmm. without influences that can ten, t take you to a negative side. Because mm -hmm. like personally, I know I've grown up very adventurous, mm -hmm. but very safe. And that will be an amazing thing for every little or young woman to go mm -hmm. through. Mm -hmm. Somewhere where you can be challenged if you are shy. Yeah. We give you opportunities to come out of your, of your shell. Mm -hmm. If we know there is something you're good at, mm -hmm. we maximize it so that by the time you're maybe getting to an older age, mm -hmm. or a master at mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so anyone 
any young woman, not mm -hmm. necessarily just young parents or kids, mm -hmm. if you want to join the movement, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how can people join the movement with their life? You don't mind telling us. Joining the movement, mm -hmm. uh, like she had already said, you mm -hmm. can go to our website. Mm -hmm. You get our details. Mm -hmm. uh, we are in uh, Facebook. Mm -hmm. We are in. Uh, the YouTube, mm -hmm. Twitter, mm -hmm. and then uh, you just communicate to the <laughs> to mm -hmm. us through, yes. and then there's someone who will fix you mm -hmm. in because mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't matter the age you are. Mm -hmm. But when you're a young child, mm -hmm. you have a daughter, mm -hmm. you, you want to fix them, mm -hmm. go to the school mm -hmm. and communicate to the school, and then the school will be communicating to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you so much, ladies, for coming. Thank you for we having. We appreciate you. your insightful you know words and maybe as we wind up you have any parting shots final words that you would like to say uh, okay my parting shot is for maybe to reach out to girls who are members of kenya girl guide association mm -hmm. and uh, this year we had one campaign we were focusing on that says yes girls can stand for peace mm -hmm. and so far so good mm -hmm. uh, elections in kenya are very tough and girls and women are normally affected so much by the consequences of such things happening. Mm -hmm. So it's just to reach out to girls so that they can spread peace within their community. In Galgade, yeah. you say there's nothing that is too small. Mm -hmm. So you can start with your home. Maybe your brother is someone who's a bit violent and just tell them you don't have to do that. Mm -hmm. Or your brother or your father or your uncle mm -hmm. or your neighbor. And collectively, that will make the world a better place. Yes. yes. Uh, uh, just pass to the girls, mm -hmm. the Kenya Girl Guides, mm -hmm. uh, and the ladies outside there that you should be proud of yourself mm -hmm. and you should stand firm mm -hmm. and not be brought down <laughs> by anyone and uh, just spread peace. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, so thank you so much for making time to join us. We appreciate the time. And yes, if you are a young lady, if you have a daughter, push them towards that direction. Let them start early. And if you are like me, <laughs> you can still start now. Yes. yes. So thank you so much. We thank appreciate you. your time once again. And mm -hmm. we hope to see more of you know, these initiatives and mm. seeing women being empowered yeah. and doing bigger things in the society. Yes. Do you have any song you'd like to listen to that is Kenyan? Ah, not necessarily. <laughs> I'm not a big song person. You're not a big song. You're not a big song person. No, really. Fidelia, any song that you would like to listen to that is Kenyan? Maybe any that Eriko you love. Any that. Yeah. Eh, the one Daimom Kenya, because mm -hmm. that's the only song that Which comes to mind. <laughs> oh, Daimom <laughs> Mim Kenya. <laughs> yes. So yeah. The one that I love. I request <laughs> mine. Uh, I <laughs> uh, <laughs> so we play. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yes. So yes. And remember our hit or miss track. Palette Twitter. So head over there. Cast your vote. Najua leo but you, know, you can do better. We still have time. And we are coming back with the game. So right about now, let us listen to the request by our beautiful ladies. Eric Wainaina.